In this video, we'll show you how to power your digital model railway system. You might remember the blue one, or perhaps the later model which was white with a red rotary controller. Using a modern starter set, power to the track is typically supplied via a connection box, which in turn is powered by a power supply. For larger systems, power is distributed through a central station, which has an appropriate power supply unit to match the track widths. The CS3 model is the central unit with the highest performance, making it ideal for larger systems. It's also a good practice to feed in additional power at various points to ensure the lowest possible voltage loss, especially at the rail transitions. There are several methods for distributing power. The most commonly used is the ring line method, where a cable runs along the edge of the layout in a circle with power taps running from the ring to the track as needed. Another method is the star line, which, as the name suggests, runs cables from the center of the layout in a star pattern, supplying power to each section. For distributing power, you could use the red and brown cables, branching off via distributor plates from the connection box. In gauge H0, one power feed every 2 to 3 meters is typically sufficient. Remember, it's not just locomotives that need electricity, digital data packets for switch and signal decoders also draw power. Multi-decoders like the M83 and M84 can be powered by a universal supply unit with an additional power supply. You can also run lighting on extra power. For instance, you can continue using an old analog transformer to power your layout's lamps. Lights can be controlled digitally, for example, with an M84 decoder, allowing you to turn them on and off as needed. If you plan to expand your system, it's wise to start with either ring or star lines. This also allows you to separate the track power from accessory power, such as decoders for switches and signals. Additionally, it makes troubleshooting easier, as you can isolate sections of the line to quickly locate and fix any short circuits. Another advantage becomes apparent when upgrading to larger systems. For instance, you may want to add an extra booster to your central station. You can supply power to decoders and other accessories via the bus and avoid drawing power needed for locomotion.